time of reflection and healing and sort of working through my journey and the hard things I'd had to deal with, especially in, in Malawi, that Get a Pet was born. So I just wanted to share with you the heart behind it before I get into the technicalities. Um, so Get a Pet, and I'm going to say that name a hundred times in the next two minutes so that you remember it, um, is essentially, oh, sorry, I've left this out. Um, I came across this quote um, when I was putting this presentation together. Mother Teresa saying, not all of us can do great things, but we can all do small things with great love. And I really hope, and it's, it's my deepest desire that Get a Pet will be that for you. It'll be my small contribution to help you guys do the great things that you are already doing. Um, okay, so on to the technical stuff. Um, Get a Pet is a shelter management tool. There's a little bit of an overview and an adoption website. Um, let me just get this. So the shelter management tool, I'm going to go into it first because it's sort of the most technical and the part that, that you would be dealing with daily. Um, there's a lot of things and I don't have a lot of time, so I'm just going to run through it really quickly. This is an overview of what it would look like. Um, you've got your animal intakes, medical, foster management, adoptions. You can log your community work, whether that's one animal or you've done a mass um, vaccination, sterilization, whatever the case may be. Um, you've got calendar for appointments to set up reminders for um, vaccinations, for veterinary checks, for whatever you might need. Um, the donation section, I'm just going to forward through here. Um, the donation section is one of my favorites. Um, you enter your donation, whether that be um, a physical donation or a monetary donation, and the system automatically sends a thank you email to the person who donated for you, um, which is really fun. And then we move on to the adoption website. The adoption website and um, the shelter management tool actually is device friendly, which means you can use it from any, you don't have to, it's not computer dependent. You can use it on your cell phone, your computer, your tablet, you can even use it from a TV if you need to. The nice thing about that is that you can access your records from anywhere. You don't have to be in an office and it's, it's not run by one person behind one computer. You can access it from anywhere as long as you have an internet connection. Um, the adoption website we've kept really simple and basically that is people just go on on their cell phone on the computer, they can search for animals on the database and they will come up with, um, with a list of all the animals that match their search criteria within the system. Um, the dollars and cents of things, which we all hate talking about. Um, we've, we've kept costs as low as we possibly can. Like I said, my heart behind Get a Pet is really to help you guys do the amazing work that you have done, or are doing, should I say. Um, so I've been working with an amazing company called The Formula, who developed this product, product for me. And um, because they have been so generous and they're huge animal lovers themselves, and in actual fact, the owner is a Cape of Good Hope um, SBCA volunteer, lovely man. He has given us the first year of hosting for free, which without getting into the technical stuff means that I'm able to offer the product to 45-ish shelters for free for the first year. So I'm really excited about that, and I'm really excited to be able to share that with you and um, go forward from there. So that's it, I'm gonna wrap up. I know we don't have a lot of time, so take a picture if you like of my contact details or come grab me for a business card afterwards and we can chat about it. Thank you. Well done, Darren. That, that's officially the biggest business card I've seen. Uh, well done, well done. Um, yes, I think I'm sure there's a few of you that will definitely wanna look at getting in touch with Darren. Um, Managing your, your shelter and managing the, the resources is obviously a very important part of being a rescue. So definitely something to consider if you haven't got something in place already. Next up, we have something else that affects us. Uh, Lionel.